Science and technology constitute the primary productive force. This has become a household saying across the country. Against the backdrop of growing unilateralism and protectionism in recent years, China has adopted an approach of self-reliance and self-strengthening in science and technology development, while opening wider to the world for win-win science -win cooperation. How will the country achieve self-reliance and self-strengthening in science and technology development? We'll find out in this episode of Xinhua Commentary. I'm Yang Yunjin, Beijing. Last week, a meeting conflating the general assemblies of the members of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the Chinese Academy of Engineering and the National Congress of the China Association for Science and Technology was convened in Beijing. The meeting demonstrated China's resolve in self-reliance and self-strengthening in science and technology development. From the revolutionary times to the reform era, China has always attached great importance to science and technology, putting them in a key strategic position in China's development. It is imperative that China pursues innovation-driven development that suits its own realities. For China, it's not an option to ask for, buy, or beg for core technologies in key fields from any other countries, not if China wants to ensure its economic and national security. That's why China is putting enhancing innovation capabilities front and center, with the aim to push for more from zero to one breakthroughs. A China with stronger sci-tech prowess promises to open up more to the world, for China believes in making the pie bigger, 